Hi, this is Bob from Hobby Concepts, back with the final part of my Hemet trailer build. As you can see, I've got it finished. Um, this part, I'm going to talk about the painting and the weathering. I mentioned in an earlier part, I have full-size drawings that I'm happy to email you for free. My email's in the description. If you want to set, email me. I'll send them to you. Uh, anyway, this uh, trailer turned out really nice. It is a massive piece. But uh, I'm, I'm very pleased. So anyway, let's get started. As I get into the last video on my uh, Hemet trailer, I just want to do a quick review. The main construction's finished. So this video is going to be basically the painting and detailing. And I'm going to go through highlighting and painting and what colors of paint I'm going to use and then all the little detail parts. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, disassemble it so I have um, sections to paint. I've got the uh, pieces broken down into what I'm going to paint. What I'm going to do is uh, uh, highlight these panels with some NATO black, uh, which is typically what I do um, before I paint, so like the panel edges, and then I'll uh, paint them with my, uh, with my paint mix that I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, I'll probably mask off this wood deck, um, but after I'm done, I probably will sand it and put another coat of finish on it anyway, so overspray is not a problem. I'll move over to the paint booth. So, what I start off with first is uh, some Tamiya NATO Black, and I just, I'm going to use that to kind of highlight the edges. And what that's going to do is give my paint a different tone on the edges, which is where the paint tends to wear. Not, no need to be real, real precise with this. It's just to give the paint underneath, just give the paint on top some tone to it. I think it'll become obvious when I when I put the paint on it. I've got my parts uh, outlined with some NATO black. You can see what I was talking about, and now I'm going to paint them. Um, one note, I've got my wheel nuts here, and I put them on a piece of double sticky tape so I can paint those. I need to touch up the wheels because the uh, screw heads aren't painted. And then I've got my, my main trailer here with some of the highlighting shadowing. I'm going to use a mix of uh, Tamiya XF59 Desert Yellow and XF57 Buff and I'm going to mix that 50-50 and that'll be my base paint. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that and I'll airbrush these parts. So painting these parts I just uh, I just lay the paint on like normal And the trick is not to lay it on too thick, and your shadow will come through nicely. So it's going to take a, a few minutes for that to dry so you can really see what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and finish painting this part and then we'll take a look at it. There's my painted parts. You can see the two brackets, the wheel nuts, the gooseneck. It's probably hard to see on the camera, but the shading 
is apparent um, through the through the paint and of course the trailer deck. So uh, now I've got to do touch up and weathering. So the first thing that I'm going to work on is the trailer has got some markings up here. There's some warning signs and some manufacturer marks. So I found a copy of the manual online for the trailer and you can see here's a a uh, page with all the data plates that are on the trailer. So I took those and shrunk them down 25% from the manual and I will cut those out and mount them on the sides of the gooseneck where they go. Also I have a sheet of um, decals for uh, Abrams tanks in, in uh, I think 1 16th scale or 1 14th scale. But anyway, uh, I'll be able to use some of these number markings and a few of the warning labels on this trailer. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and glue them on. I've got these all cut out. I took a piece and um, sprayed some to me a clear flat on it to make sure that it wouldn't hurt the printing and that worked fine. So now I'm just going to use good old micro crystal clear to glue these on. And the decals I'll just put on in the normal way. I love this micro crystal clear for little odd jobs like this. And uh, you can still read these. going to look pretty good. There's a couple that go on this side and a couple that go on the other side. So I'll get those on. I've got my uh, markings and decals on, including the uh, watch your head marker on the upright. Now I'm going to do some weathering and uh, I'm going to use these Tamiya weathering masters. These things are great. Uh, I love them. I'm not going to use every color, but I'll probably use quite a bit of C, which has got silver, and probably a little bit of oil stain, and then some this one, titanium and gunmetal. And these things are excellent. You just pop them open. They come with a little applicator, and you can just start weathering up the edges. Um, I love the looks of this because it's like it's like wear, you know, where the paint is rubbed off. You can do a little bit here too, just to kind of kind of show it. It's a uh, it's great because if you make a mistake, you can rub it right off, and then once it's done, I'll seal it in with clear flat. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of weathering on this, and we'll see what it looks like when we're done. The other thing I use to uh, do weathering besides these weathering masters is this panel line accent color from Tamiya. This happens to be brown. It's really thin and it just it just washes into the cracks and darkens up. whatever it touches, highlights, lines, so I'm going to do the wheels with it and I'll probably do a lot of that, you can see how it just kind of runs everywhere. So after I let it sit for a minute then what I'll do is take a, a rag and just kind of wipe it out it leaves a nicely weathered looking wheel when it's done so I'll do those and let them dry and I'll probably use it to do uh, the joints in here when I get to that. You can see I've got a lot of that uh, weathering done on the deck. 
I put one coat of uh, clear flat on it. The clear flat actually darkens the color slightly. So now I'm going to work on this uh, area underneath here, and I, I just figure that's an area that's going to get a lot of uh, abuse on these trailers in the real world. We're not going to hit uh, weather real heavily, but I'm going to use some of this Tamiya Paneline marker and outline all these bays. And that just, it just runs in. into the cracks and it'll run across the bottom here. We'll do a couple of them. And then once I once it's run in I'll take a uh, a towel and just kind of wipe off some of the excess. And that should give me the the dirty look I'm going for underneath here. So I'm going to do the rest of these. See how it turns out. One final thing I want to do before I put the trailer back together and make some uh, lenses for the taillights. And I'm going to use my favorite material which is uh, a plastic milk carton. I, uh, I use these a lot. They make great um, light diffusers for LEDs. And this area down here in the bottom has got kind of a crinkly finish to it, which makes a uh, wonderful light lens. Put an LED behind it, it looks good. Then I use Tamiya clear orange and a clear red to paint it. I save. Uh, I save pieces of milk cartons whenever we throw them away because all of them are different. Some of them have a different area where the crinkly part is. So you can see right here I've got one that's, that's nice and flat. So I will make some covers that fit in here and I will paint them with the Tamiya paint and then I'll back those up with an LED. Now I'm not going to do that in this set of videos. I'll do it later when I when I uh, relight and resound my Hemet and do it all at once. And that's going to be in the future a long ways. So, but today I'm going to make some lenses. I just wanted to show a close up of the of the nose piece with the weathering. I use the metal to kind of wear the edges. So they, they show some wear in the center of the panels. And I'm uh, really happy with how it turned out. I'm going to uh, install the um, wood decking now. And I'll use a little piece of double sticky tape across the back to hold them in. And then I've got one more procedure I'm going to do to these parts before I reassemble the trailer. When I uh, built this model that I used for um, putting my big trailer together, I did a dust coat of uh, Tamiya Buff paint over the top and then a final coat of uh, clear flat. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to take an airbrush a, a very light dust coat of Tamiya Buff and then uh, seal that in with some more clear flat. So for this uh, Tamiya Buff, I'm just going to do a very, very light I really almost can't see it almost like it's just dusty. And then after this dries I'll clear flat it. 
I've got all my pieces painted. It's time to reassemble. I uh, got all my stainless nuts and bolts and everything ready to go. I did mix up some extra 50-50 mix so I could paint the bolt heads and the nuts as I put them uh, in. So now it's just a simple matter of bolting things back together one piece at a time. So we'll get that done, and uh, probably what I'll do is use a Dremel to cut off the extra bolt length of any bolts that are too long. We'll get this part put together. I've got my, my lenses, and you can see the, the texture looks pretty good. That's two coats of uh, the Tamiya clear paint. And now I'm just going to glue them in on the inside. I'll use my favorite micro crystal clear to do that. I like it because even if it spills onto the lens, it dries just like it says, crystal clear. And uh, So we'll get these stuck in here and then I'll uh, use some blue tape to hold them till they're dry. lens goes to the outside, just like that, we'll let those dry. I uh, mounted an on-off switch here in the side and just mounted this servo tester up here temporarily um, so I can operate the servos. My intention is to put a radio receiver in here at a future date and be able to operate the the gooseneck from uh, from the radio. So that completes the bottom and we'll go ahead and install the neck. So here's my finished trailer. Um, very pleased with how it turned out. It's big. Uh, yes, I'm going to need a load for it. This is a uh, armored bulldozer um, on the trailer and uh, Ming makes a plastic model of it that I'm going to get, and then I'm going to take this uh, this brooder bulldozer and eventually turn that into an armored military dozer, an RC it. That's my my long-term plan. But for now, the trailer's done. Uh, the next project will be to uh, take apart the Hemet, repaint it, um, install new sound and lights in it, and then integrate those lights into the trailer. But that's a long-term project, not going to be happening, happening anytime soon. I'll do a few uh, close-up pictures of the trailer. As promised, we'll do a little close-up here. You can see my tail lights with the wrinkly lenses. And get a look at some of the uh, weathering, especially on the edges of the trailer um, panels. Uh, the tires uh, and wheels turned out nicely with the heavy weathering. We'll just cruise along the frame here. Kind of pull out and do a shot of the deck. And then up here to the gooseneck and the warning labels. And the top of that. I. Uh, I'm very pleased with how it turned out overall. Yes, you can even read the warning labels if you have very good eyesight. Well, that's my uh, my completed uh, Hemet trailer. I really appreciate all the uh, nice comments I've had on this build. If you want a set of free drawings, don't forget, just email me. My email is in the description and I'll send you a set. Uh, Thumbs up. I appreciate those. Please subscribe. Thanks again for watching.